Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you hadn't known me yet, I'm Shini and I'm a current medical student studying in Monash University, Malaysia. I've applied to various universities in Malaysia, Hong Kong, Australia and also Singapore and I will be doing a series of videos regarding the application process and also the pathways. It's been a very very long time since my last video because I don't have any extra time writing script, filming videos and also editing them. I just finished my semester 1 in Monash and semester 1 was so overwhelming and I'm just trying to like fit in the new environment and also to adapt my new learning style for medicine. Anyways, I'll update you guys about my uni life in Sem 1, so stay tuned for it. Okay, let's get back to our objective today. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys the application pathway and also the process to Malaysian public universities and also private universities. So this video will be in the form of two parts. Part 1 will be talking about public unis and part 2 will mainly talking about private unis in Malaysia. The unis that I'll be sharing will be the universities that I considered during my application. For public universities, I only consider UKM and also UM. This is because only UM and UKM are recognised by the Singapore Medical Council. To check whether your medicine degree from your desired uni is recognised by Singapore Medical Council, feel free to check out the link I attached below. And it is also very important for you to know that the list of these recognizable universities they might get updated or revised year by year so make sure to keep yourself updated by that also please note that the universities that are listed inside the list must fully be conducted in the university itself so let's say IMU can transfer to University of Adelaide which is recognized by Singapore Medical Council the degree is not recognized because all five years are not conducted fully in University of Adelaide instead they are conducted three years in Malaysia and 2.5 years in Adelaide. Not only that, for example, Monash Malaysia. So Monash Malaysia is a overseas campus of Monash University Australia. So they does not recognize Monash University Malaysia's medicine degree. Going back to our topic, for UM, they require SPM Bio, Chemistry and Physics or Math. Whereas UKM that accepts both IGCSE and SPM. The entry requirements could be seen here. Therefore, for me, I'm an IGCSE student, so I'm not even eligible for the UM and BBS. And for SPM, I only took general subjects, for example, mathematics, science, like the combined science and not individual science, and I also take Sajara, BM, BI, and yeah, that's all. So I'm not eligible for the UM and BBS program. However, I'm actually eligible for UKM. But in the end, I did not complete my application process to UKM because they require IELTS or MOET, which I did not take. To check whether you are eligible for MD program in UKM, feel free to send an email to Miss Rosmiza as she was the counsellor that guided me through the application process. Actually, for UM and UKM, the application process is more or less the same. Firstly, you need to meet the entry requirement and then you will get the invitation for interview and lastly, you will get your offer. But for UM, there is a special test to take which is known as MSET. So MSET is somewhat like ISET which I take for Monash Malaysia and also Monash Australia. Their format is somewhat similar but there are components that are different. I will call my friend later and she will explain to y'all what MSET is really like. Normally the MSET test registration period is only once in a year. For 2024-2025 intake, the registration date is already over which is on the 22nd of December 2023 to 6 February 2024. If you did satisfactory in the MSET exam followed by outstanding results for your SPM and also your pre you you will then receive an email regarding your invitation for interview. So for Malaysians who didn't take SPM, Chemistry, Bio and Physics or Maths, I'm really, really sorry to say that you're not eligible for the UM MBBS program. However, you can try your luck in UKM because they accept O-level, IGCSE or equivalent. And this is regardless of how well you did in your pre which is your STPM, your metrics, your um, A-level, MAFI, OSMED and such. To be honest, I was so sad when I know that I am not eligible for the UM MBBS program. I even asked the counsellor physically in UM, you know. And then when I see the counsellor, I was like, Ha, huh, really man? The other SVM memang tak boleh apply for medicine in UM? And then he was like, Yeah, memang tak boleh. Kami only recognise SPM. Like that. <sighs> they does not recognise O-level or IGCSE. You need the bio and chemistry and physics or math oh my gosh okay it's okay it's okay 
Oh yeah, and I also asked whether I can apply as an international student But then he said, if you're Malaysian, then you are the domestic powerful International quota is only for the international students So here I ended up in Monash, no hate though Okay guys, now I'll be calling my primary school friend Jingru for some insights about the application pathway to local public universities in Malaysia. She took SPM during her secondary school and continued her studies in matriculasi and now she has applied to uh, various public universities in Malaysia through the UPU system. And I'm just calling her to ask her a few questions that you guys may, might want to ask and might be curious about. And also our conversation will be held in Chinese so I'll attach uh, English subtitles down below. So Feel free to refer to it while listening. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm going to ask you a little bit. Okay, I'm going to ask you a little bit. Okay, I'm going to ask you a little bit. Okay, I'm going to ask you a little bit. Okay, I'm going to ask you Uh,国际生或者是你是从private uni你要转去private uni的话 你要放什么cost就跟着你想要的那个cost顺序来排 Medicine啊，这样你是可以通过那个direct Okay,等我們去第二個問題,如果要讀medicine的話,這樣學生是需要拿什麼test的?
。然后 for situation based 的问题啊，可能会问你 ethical issue in involve 的问题啊，像。呃、uh, ，有一个人他呃， uh, 就是有一个 kidney， 这个 kidney 你会选择给六十岁的一个老人家，还是你会选择给二十岁的年轻人？但是他是有 drug addiction 的人啊，大概是类似这样的题目。然后 situation base 还有我家 empty 的东西啊，就是像你的朋友的妈妈去世了，你会怎么办？这样子就是考验你的临场发挥哦。但是你们呃，可以你现在就。呃，多练习你的思维模式啊，就是让自己更加熟悉那种题目。然后还有那种 opinion 的话呢，通常是会问你关于 current issue 的东西，就很像 contract doctor 啊， AI in medicine 啊，还有了解那些 medicine 现在是发生了什么这样子的问题。那除了 UM、UKM 也是需要 interview 的 ，right？ 啊、uh, ，对 ，UKM 需要 interview， 但是它有 stage one 和 stage two。stage one 的时候，它会很像教你拍。拍一个 video 就是自我介绍这样子，然后也是会问你一些 question 啦，然后你回答过后你就交那个 video 上去哦。stage one 过了，他才会进入 stage two， 然后 stage two 是 M M I O， 就是会很像一个小组这样子进去面试这样子，但他还是 individual 的面试啊。OK， 还有最后一个问题，是你有什么建议给正在 apply for degree 的学弟学妹讲吗？我这个问题的话，我觉得要 check 清楚你想要 apply 的 course 的那些时间、地点、日期，还要很。啊，注意这些日期啊，因为错过啊，就可能要等到下一次 intake 啊。然后还有就是 ，for 那些打 IGCSE 的，你们要想过想要进 public uni 的话，你们要去 check 好 UM 和 UK 他们的 requirement 是什么，记得要去考 m u e t 咯。对，如果你们是通过 UPU channel 想要得到 MBBS course 的话哦。但是同时，你们又害怕你们拿不到，你们可以通过三度圈的，但是你们需要早一点报名啊，因为我们今年的话，就是虽然三度圈都是开放到九月二十三号，但是它的 interview call for interview 是在八月多，所以。提早报名会比较安全一点。OK， 这样如果有一些 medical student 哦，他不懂要去 public 还是 private 的 medical school 的话，你会怎样给他 advice？ 嗯，我觉得这种的话要看自身的情况哦。像如果他本身是比较想家的人，就是可以去 UKM 这种，然后可以去到新加坡做工那些嘛。如果他是想要。可以去到 Australia 啊，这种啊，就可以读摩纳沙。我觉得就是看你以后未来想在哪一个地方做工，然后也是 depends on 你的 financial 情况啊。如果你的 parents 可以 support 到的话，我觉得 private uni 也是可以的。如果不能的话，也是去像 uni m a s a 也是，很 depends on 你们自己的情况这样子、哦。然后就分析好过后，就做出最好的选择，尽量不要做出会让自己后悔的选择这样子。Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you, see you, bye bye. And that's a wrap for the public university. So I'll be making a video in part two, which is about private universities that I've applied to. For example, I am U Monash and also Taylor. And the reason why I chose Monash. Feel free to watch the next video if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.